A long time ago, the king of Aram chose a spot for the Israelites to fall into his trap. The ambush was a secret. The Israelites couldn't find it on a map. A holy man learned of the king of Aram's plot. I must tell my king, he quickly thought. This man was no ordinary Israelite. His name was Elisha the prophet. His gift was very special. Not even kings could top it. Elisha was a messenger of God and could tell others what God said. He could even warn leaders before evil plans had a chance to spread. Elisha told the king of Israel, Watch out! King Aram has set up a trap for your army in this place. It's an ambush you do not want to face. The king of Israel warned his army not to visit that place. But the king of Aram found out and was furious. How could the Israelites find out? King Aram was very curious. The king of Aram called his officers and asked, Which one of you gave our secret away to the king of Israel? Tell me fast. Sir, Elisha was the one who told of our secret plan. He must not be any ordinary man. The king of Aram sent horses and chariots to surround Elisha's town. He planned to stage a violent showdown. Elisha's servant saw the horses and chariots and was worried. But Elisha replied in a hurry. Don't worry, there's no need to hide. We have God's angels on our side. And because God loves and favors us so, we can be confident we are safe. This I know. God, open my servant's eyes and let him see, so he knows that he's safe with God and believes me. The scene was incredible. The servant was amazed. God's protection was visible. The servant knew to give God praise. The servant's eyes were open to see God's actions. When the Arameans eventually attacked, Elisha prayed with passion. God. Make the Arameans blind, so that all they see is darkness before their eyes. The entire Aramean army was blinded by God's power. They followed Elisha straight to the king of Israel in a matter of hours. As they entered the city, Elisha prayed from afar. God, open their eyes so that they see where they are. The king of Israel wanted to defeat the Aramean army, but Elisha had other plans. Send the army back to their king and get ready to prepare them a feast. They've done enough for today and should be released. Because of God's power and protection, the Arameans didn't bother Israel anymore. Remember, no matter what happens, God is fighting our battles in the midst of any war.